What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team of Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Next on the list is Walking Wake EX. Uh, I guess Ancient Suicune, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it has the ability Azor Azori Azuru Seize. Damage from attacks used by this Pokemon isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's act Pokemon. Great. Uh, yep, cool, cool. But Catharsis Roars are attacked today as a 20. If your opponent's act Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this does 120 more damage, which is 240, which has some great numbers. 220 is a great number to hit, and it only needs water and a double colorless. Now, with the stack, we are playing water and double turbo energy. It does do minus 20, but hitting that 220 is a really big deal. I mean, Walking Wake EX itself has, you know, 220 HP, which is great. Uh, and how are we going to poison Pokemon? That's a great answer. Great, great question. We have Brute Bonnet, of course. That's Toxic Powder. Once you turn, this Pokemon has an ancient booster capsule energy attached. We have both act Pokemon poison, so we can make ourselves poison, then poison, whatever. Um, so we can poison them, do damage that way. Now, with only that, uh, you know, not only that, so we have the poison, so we do 230. With Radiant Sneezer, we do two more damage counters, so it's 250. And with the new Pearliest Jungle, we do 270 damage. Now, this is, of course, if you have a double turbo attached. If you don't have a double turbo attached, you do 290, which does hit 280, which is pretty good. Now, this is also poison. It comes back into you as well, so that's another big deal. So, it will take an additional five damage counters. because two here, uh, two here, and then one, or uh, two, two here, and the base of the one. So, that's five to take them back. Uh, so, what, 220 times 100 is 320 HP. It's a lot of HP that you're dealing for just water and color and double turbo. And you can do this turn one. You just need to find yourself Professor Sada's and a double turbo energy, which is pretty, I think it's pretty easy pretty doable that we could do it uh we do have a mew ex in here with that restart draw to have three cards in hand we do still play cloth for the unhinged scissors uh 30 this pokemon is fixed by special condition in fact it's 160 more so it is 190 damage right it's pretty good of course minus 20 blah 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 but then you still have you know the brew bonnet and the radius nisa and the pearliest jungle uh which means you know 190 minus 20 is 170 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you can hit 220 turn 1 with the cloth if you do find it. And a squawk ability to get that turn 1 attack off. We are playing 2 Vessel to find the Water Energies 2 Energy Switch. Um, this is going to help you because you can Sada onto multiple Walking Wakes, Energy Switch, and go about it that way if you want to. Uh, and we can maybe cut the Energy Switch if you want to. Uh, 4 Nest Ball, 4 Ultra Ball, 1 Pal Pad, 1 Prime Catcher, switch both Pokemon, Act Pokemon to the bench, and choose the new one to the Act Spot. That is your Ace Pick of Choice. Uh, 1 Super Rod. We are playing three switch cards to get rid of the poison and heal as well. Uh, with three boss order, three Iona, four Sada, and three Fresh's Research. Now, you can play Arvin in this deck, but I did have Arvin at one point, and usually when I played Arvin, I needed more cards. We don't play Bee Bear, we don't play Pidgeot, and stuff like that. Uh, so I didn't really, you know, really use it that much. Um, I was more so just want to draw more cards with Research and Iona kind of thing. Uh, playing four HA Booster Capsule, um, you know, really good card. Four double turbo and seven water energy because pretty much after like turn one you're pretty good to use other supporter cards which is what we're having the other ones uh, to help draw and find stuff uh so yeah we're gonna try this deck out today you can maybe cut researches on the card i kind of think about cutting sometimes like maybe play arvin just to find you know into booster capsule um too bad melanie got rotated because melanie would be perfect in this deck but it did unfortunately get rotated um, and the big thing here to know is Cloth is not an Age of Pokemon, so you cannot sell it to it. So that's the big thing here. Um, so yeah, we're going to play this deck. Uh, the, the point of this deck as well, too, is to take like those quick turn one knockouts is what I've been pretty much been going for. We're going to see if that works or not. I mean, I've been having fun testing it. Um, it's a deck I've been playing for like two weeks now because um, those who don't know, I actually didn't play. I didn't record any videos last week. All the videos you saw were from two weeks ago. So now this is a fresh um even the video yesterday was from two weeks ago so magic of youtube right right uh let's call heads let's see what do we get uh we do get heads see very nice very nice uh would you like to go first no i don't want to go first i'm gonna go second i'm gonna get the turn attack off that's the goal that's the goal to get that turn one attack off um even if you miss a turn one attack with the professor sada remember you do play double turbo in cloth so you can attack first that way as well and also we are playing this maridon which is good for us and also i didn't talk about this but ancient boost energy capsule gives you increased hp right it gives you plus 60 uh, it makes your walking wake have 60 more hp so it has 280 um so it can tank a little bit more if need be uh but here we go we see a roaring moon ex so uh you know 
we can potentially one shot this, uh, nest ball, okay. Poison and everything else. We do get that crazy turn one off. There is a dud spar, so can you? Okay, there is a nest ball, all right. There's a Radiant Greninja coming down, so they can discard an energy and draw some cards. Uh, now, this is the Dunsparce that lets you draw cards or something like that. I've seen some kind of success with this deck. Um, we'll see how it does today. My opponent has no idea what we're playing either. It's all a mystery. They just know that we opted to go second. So they do play the Baby Roaring Moon, so we do have to be somewhat careful of that. Uh, but right now, it's not doing any damage. And onto our turn. Let's see. What do we find here? Uh, so do you find an Earth Vessel? So, um, I mean, I'll play it to, like, thin my deck out right um and then we'll just iono what's good doesn't really give any information to my opponent what we're playing unless i i don't think i've released anything um so we have to go for a cloth this turn and we might have the turn one cloth so we get this uh we'll go ahead and find the cloth here so grab the cloth uh we'll go ahead and ultra ball discard one and two uh, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves oh i don't even know squawk ability is in here so squawk ability is in here Squawkabilly, uh, put down Squawkabilly, Curlyish Jungle, Double Turbo. I want to restart first, which could be kind of bad. Ooh, okay, this is pretty good. And now we just need the good old tool card. And of course, Whiffed. Cool. All right. <laughs> All righty. Well, that is unfortunate. Man, bro, come on now. Grab a cloth, put that down. We'll retreat to the cloth. And unfortunately, just end our turn. No supporter card. Hmm. I mean, no, no tool card. This is what I'm talking about. Maybe research could be really good right now. It could guarantee me next turn to get the attack off. Uh, but we could solder and hit it and go about it that way. Uh, we'll see what happens with my opponent here. Got the tracker shoes. Okay, looks like they want to keep that card. So that must have been a good card. Uh, there is an artisan. Okay. An artisan. I'm gonna find them a basic Pokemon. Put that down. Maybe another Dunsparce. Yep, it's another Dunsparce. I mean, I imagine it's probably a heavy uh, Dunsparce deck, right? So Earth and Vestal going to discard a Dark Energy if possible. Yep, there goes a Dark Energy. Now they really didn't do too much last turn, but they have Greninja and stuff, so they could draw cards. Um, but it really is gonna be hard to get that turn one frenzy gouging. I feel like unless they can uh, solder two Darks, which they only have. Well, they have three in the discard pile, so they couldn't solder the both. And then switch to the active attach and then go for, you know, maybe a Calamity Storm. I highly doubt they go for a Frenzy Gouging. That would seem really risky. Uh, but Dark Energy Deactive. Uh, Ancient Boost Capsule to the bench. Okay. Dark Patch to the bench. Okay. Once again, they don't have any Pokemon really that I'm too concerned about. There's a Penny. So they're going to put the Roaring Moon in their hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to set up this thing. Once again, they're not taking a knockout right now so i'm crazy uh nope definitely not taking a knockout this turn yep ultra ball they're gonna discard their roaring moon no double dark defined the dunsparce i think it's named the dunsparce yep 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 there it is i don't know exactly what it does i can't remember i know you like shuffle back in your deck and you draw cards i can't remember everything i'm sorry guys no bro let me read it no! Okay, shuffle and draw three. That's what it looks like I just did. So, nice ball. They already played Penny this turn. Okay. Another Roaring Moon. Okay. One, two, three. So, seven. What is it? Plus ten? Yeah. Okay. So, they're not taking a knockout right now. Seven. Yeah, they're not taking a knockout. Okay. Very nice. On to our turn. Now, I have two options. I can either go Iona, give her a new hand, or I can Sada and hope to hit it. I think I'm going to go for Sada here, just kind of, I uh, just set this up. And we whiffed. That is unfortunate, so we'll press done. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunate. So there's an Explorer's Guidance, okay. Yeah, hmm. should that be an Arvin? Should it not be an Arvin? Discard some booster capsules. Explorer's Guidance as well. So let's see. One, two, three, four. 
Well, we put this down too, so we could knock that out next turn if we get lucky here. Okay, or it's on for the Duns or for Dunsparce. Yeah, not the Dunsparce. Can't do that. Okay. All right, so let's go for the Vengeful. Okay, that's fine. All right, come on, let me find something good here, buddy. Send it me. It's got free treat. I can earth vessel the water to get two waters out of the deck. How many's in here? Got all four. Okay, so get the two waters. I want a nest ball to fail it. We'll put down this. We'll attach a water. I think I'm just going to Iono here. Okay, so we got the ancient booster capsule, so we can put this here. We can use its effect. Hmm. Now the question is, who do I send up in the X spot? Because this doesn't take a knockout right now, right? I could send this up and take a knockout. And we're just hoping they can't take a knockout back. One, two, they only did, no, they took a knockout. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we might be okay. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. These are gonna go for it, see what happens. Oh my goodness. It can't be affected by special conditions because of the booster capsule. Ah, okay, so we have to go into the cloth. Forgot about that. I forgot about that. The Dunsparce, okay. Whoops. Yep. Uh-oh, now this hits perfect numbers. Yep. That's not good. All right, all right, all right. What do you think about this? So they're going to take a knockout. How many Ionas are in here? Two. I feel like you, you, you switch to take a knockout, right? Now, the good thing is I can't Iona them later, and maybe that'll disrupt them some. I mean, they did play the Dun Dun Sars and stuff like that, so we'll see how that, well that works. So you're taking a knock here, go down to three. Art is off another Dun Sparse. Yep. Ultra Ball, okay. As long as they don't boost your capsule, we should be able to take a knock out. So they're gonna go for the the, the dunce bars here. Yeah, there you go. How many booster capsules are in here? Two, three, so they have one left. I feel like they had to go for the 220, right? There you go. All right, so you're not gonna go down to three. How many dark patches in here? Two dark patches, okay. Send it Mew on our turn. Oh, ancient booster capsule. So almost Sada. One and two. Okie dokie, that's not what we want to see.
Hmm. Okay, so we get a prime catcher. Interesting. But does Prime Catcher allow us to do anything? I could just bring this up and swing into it. That's actually what I'm kind of thinking. So we send this up. We send this up. We go for a Toxic Powder. And then we swing this for the Knockout. Okay. There's an Ultra Ball. Okay, so they're gonna send up Roaring Moon EX maybe? Ooh, Dunsparce. Uh, the Dunsparce have Free Retreat? Oh, this definitely has. Dunsparce itself has Free Retreat, so yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Roaring Moon has come down. Another Roaring Moon has come down. How many Sodas have they played? Just the one. Okay. I feel like my opponent might have an advantage here. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like I said, my plan is to hopefully Iona them if we can get lucky. So there's a Sada. One to each. If they take a knockout this turn and leave this on the bench, then we will just scoop because like I can't do anything about that. And yeah, that's what they should do. They should just retreat here, and that's going to be game. Yeah, all right, all right. We're going to scoop this one up. That one didn't go so hot. That one didn't go so hot. Okay, maybe maybe my researcher should be Arvin's? It was, I was already debating that as it is. Is that the play? That's the question. You know what? We're going to head and just do that. We're going to head and just we're edit deck, and then I'm going to regret it instantly. So make this, instead of three research, we're going to make this, no, Arvin. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going ahead and do it. I was already debating it. We're going to do it. Because I don't use research that much. Because you gotta grab, you got a prime catcher, you can grab any of the trainer cards. Uh, we could even cut, uh, let's think of cutting the, um, maybe the urn, but they're so good because you can like discard a water energy and stuff like that. So, I don't know, we'll see. Opponent choose heads, flip the coin, okay, okay, okay. Tails. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want to go first. Almost let go of that. That would have been bad. I'm gonna go second. You meme me. You meme. I don't meme. You meme. Okay. Zora's here. Hello, Zora. Is this the same guy? Is this the same person? No, they have different. Is the same person or no? I feel if this is not the same person, we've, we've done a really good job of always playing the same people or same type decks in these videos for some reason. And of course, now I talk about like research. Now it's an Arvin. How cool is that? Yep. Now this one might be different because they're playing Pokestop. I'm not saying the other guy didn't play Pokestop. We just maybe have never seen it. Okay, so they're Ultra Balling. What do they dig here for? Squawkabilly, okay. I'm fine with that. 
Pokestop, gonna spin the wheel. Let's go. Ooh, discarded Palpad and Dark Patch. That's two good cards. Okay, but we're running. We're running away from our problems. Okay, so anyways, my turn. I'm on the Arvin. We can grab like another Nest Ball. And then maybe another an Ancient Booster Capsule. We get Nest Ball for Brute Bonnet. Nest Ball for Squawkability. Ultra Ball for Walking Wake. Put that on the Walking Wake. Put the other Brute Bonnet. Squawk. Hope to find Double Turbo. Do we Or do we hold? Do we not? Do we just hold the Arvin? Hmm, we might just hold the Arvin. I mean, we might, we might not play the Arvin and just like see if we draw into Iona or something else. To draw more cards even. Might be the better play. Oh, we talked about the, oh, the double turbo energy. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. It's like, I think we just get the damage out. I think we just like guarantee the damage right now. Right, we get the we get the brute bonnet. We put this on it. Yeah, I think I am gonna Arvin for Nest Ball. I gotta check to see if it's even in the deck. It is my squawk in the deck? Squawk is in the deck. Okay. So I'm gonna grab these two. We'll do this. For Walking Wake, we'll Ultra Ball both of these to grab the Squawk. Put down the Squawk, put down the Ancient Booster Capsule, and then we'll Squawk and Seize. Okay. Okay. So I could earth and vessel the water to get to. I can purely do I go for poker stuff? I don't think so. You rather do this toxic powder and just go for unhinged sensor. Cause I'll bring it up to to two hundred. And then, wait, what? Oh, no, they're non, I'm non-dark in this situation. Oh, no. <laughs> sure. Oh, no. Okay, Earth Vessel, Poke Gear. Okay, okay, Josh, it's kind of bad. I think no matter what we send up a squawk ability next turn, we could motivate. So what we might have to go for. Roaring Moon has made into parents, okay. Sure. We got a Professor Sada, so they're gonna be able to attack this turn. We can find our own side, it'll be cooking. All right, poke stop. Dark patch to Roaring Moon on the bench. Poke stop to try to find an energy switch. Okay. So they don't have the energy, we'll be able to take a knockout this turn. Oh, there's Grim Ninja, and they can earn to thin the deck and then Ninja for more. They already attached this turn? I don't remember. Oh, they haven't even attached yet. So it sends up that guy, okay. And that could swing for knockout? Probably. Two, four, five, seven. Yeah, that's enough. That's definitely enough. Keeping this guy chilling in the background. Oh, dude. This matchup's so bad, bro. Okay. Uh, 
false order. All right, let's poke a stop first and cry. Here we go. I can like. Yo, the me only draw one card seems so bad. Seems so bad right now. Yeah, I'd rather restart as much as I can. And then we'll just go for a motivate. Okay, not looking good. I'm like pretty sure they have a dark energy in their hand, but at least they have the waste of this turn. And let the prime catcher bring up their ruin moon and take a knock on it, which is okay, I guess. The, the big thing here is they're already at the pal pad in two sodas and two dark patches. So. There you go. Very nice. Okay, trekking shoes. So it is a different ancient box deck. For another Roy Mooney X. I called it. Give me the prize. So we know they have Dark Patch in hand. I'm like 90% sure they have Dark Energy because they played Earth Vessel. I wasn't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure they grabbed that. Uh, they have not played a Supporter card. There's a Supporter card, so no boss this turn. Going to put Dark there, Dark there. Okay, draw some cards. They can Dark Patch this. So they take a knockout out of three. We take a knockout out of two. You'll have to go for Frenzy Galaxy to take a knockout. Okay. So they're going to send this up. Oh, they're going to send the damaged one. I mean, they'll still, do, they'll still do 220 either way. So my plan now... I take a knockout, okay. Go down to three. All right, so instead of walking wake, on to our turn. Put down walking wake. Well, prime catcher this up to send in the Mew. We'll restart for one. Sada? Okay, not what we needed, especially if a double turbo. No, 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 cancel. Oh, no, cancel, 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 cancel. No, let me cancel, bro. I meant to do this first. Oh, wait, we can't be fixed with special conditions either way. Okay. We're good. And okay, we'll take a knockout here. We'll go down to four. Double Iono. Could be good. Could be good. Comes the Roaring Moon. Because remember, they're down a bunch of stuff. Four Dark Patches and three Sada with the Palpad right there. 
That's really good for us. Dark Age of the Bench. Now, of course, we got boss and we're cooking. Oh, my Mew! Oh, God, I love it. Alrighty. So how do we want to tackle this? So we'll send this up for sure. I can energy switch a water to here. Put this here. I yield my opponent to one. I hope they'll find solid and energy. Or boss order. Boss all sort of just gets in the game. Oh wait, they just win no matter what, don't they? Because they took a knock out this guy. Cool. Cool. I look, I just want one game where Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they have the other one ready to go. Okay, can we now play a Roaring Moon deck? I'm just gonna wait a second. Is this like all the hype right now? Did some YouTuber make an a, a, a Roaring Moon deck or something? Has it won any tournaments? I don't think it's won any tournaments. Just not a Roaring Moon. This has been happening when I record videos, I just play the same decks for some reason. I don't know how this keeps happening. All right, so we did not win the coin flop. Please, not another Roaring Moon deck. Great, we're going first. Okay. Thank God. Do I go for the squawk turn one? Doesn't seem like a bad thing. Grab the cloth. So we can just retreat into it. I think that's the play. We'll restart for two. Throwing this way is definitely bad, but it's fine, I guess. All right, so put down the walking wake, put down a water due to it, retreat to the cloth, and just, uh, we'll definitely brute bond it. I admit, I did that backwards. I keep forgetting to click the thing to poison myself. If this was IRL, we would be in okay, because I would have remembered. What is happening in Twitter land? Okay, anyways. It is a future box deck. Ooh, it's kind of spicy for us. Ooh, it's not what I thought it was. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Restart for one. Oh, you take a knockout, six, seven, eight. Oh, you're taking a knockout turn one. Let's go. Because my, my own poison knocked me out. Because I'm that bad at Pokemon right now. <laughs> Anyways. Yep, that's what just happened. Hello, Zubra. What are you doing, kitty cat? You here to watch me do bad? All right, so we're going to send up Walking Wake onto our turn. We're going to do a couple couple things here. Okay. <coughs> so 
So we'll do this, do this. Energy switch to here. Energy switch back to here. Switch card to Mew. And then restart for three. Well, Iona, which is like kind of bad. This is research. See, maybe research is still the play. I don't know. Okay. So we'll Toxic Powder. Double Turbo here. Retreat to Walking Wake and Swing for Knockout. Zora's like attacking the birds right now. All right, we got down to five. Okay, Radiant Sneeze Slayer. Mew X comes to the X spot. Okay, okay, so what they got for us? They played a Grass Energy, which is very interesting. It's Arvid, all right. Arvid coming to love. The only thing bad about Squawk being here is I can't put down Radiant uh, Sneasler. No love for the Sneasler. All right, Techno Radar. This card's a research. Okay, I think Sada and Future Box, but it's 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 research. Okay. Iron Hands and a Maridon. Okie dokie. Lightning to that guy. Iron Hands comes down. EXP share. Ooh. Retreat to the on and swing. Now, we are weak to lightning, so that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. Future boost capsule to Iron Hands. Okay. Restart for one. And peak acceleration. Hmm. One, two, buckle my shoes. All right. So there is a Sada. Sada does give me a fresh new hand of six or five. But I'll give my opponent a brand new hand of five. But I feel like I want to find more cards than my opponent does. I should have put down the jump card. That was silly of me. Now I still get knocked out with this next turn with the arm press. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's the key here. So go ahead and swing Catharsis Ruler. So go down to four. And if they take a knockout, they go down to three as they go down to four as well. But then we'll be in the up because then our walking away can take a knockout. Okay. So Iono. If we knock this thing out with this. Okay, Iron Hands comes to the X spot. So, okay, so Iron Crown comes down. So, I mean, they're definitely going to knock out the arm, arm press here. Now, do they have kind of like an energy switch kind of combo thing? Because then that would be scary. Because then they go down to two. And then I can't. I mean, it doesn't matter if I talk with Cloth or Walking Wake. I would definitely go ahead with Cloth, though, I think. Uh oh, is Arvin going to get energy switch here? That would be scary. Oh, my goodness. They pretty much grabbed an energy switch with that one card. Yup. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to Iona them the two and hope they can't find anything. They're gonna use that tool, that new ace bag for future decks. Okay. Poke gear. I, I'm going to Iona you, my friend. Because this thing does... Well, okay, it doesn't take a knockout immediately, so that's fine. Okay. 
They didn't use it. Can they not use it? Oh, they only have one energy in the discard pile, and it's maybe that's why. Interesting. Okay, so we do this. Do I have two sodas in here? I only have one. All right, so I'm gonna Ultra Ball discard one and two. Um, is it time? Is it time to show off the Sneasler? I just got a boot or boot bonnet if I'm being honest. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a boot bonnet, put that down, pal pad back in Sada. Yep. And then I'm gonna Iono first. Oh, we have game next turn. Retreat to cloth. Use toxic powder. And unhinged scissors. All right, so they can move the energies around. But what do they do now? That's the question. So switch card and Sada. Okay. Because we have double turbo, we have a prime catcher, we have Arv and her prime catcher. We need to. We have a double turbo. Like, we have a lot of we have a lot of outs here. I have another Arvin. If they go out through my brew bonnet to find the other capsule, which will I put the on the brew bonnet? And I got rid of their ace back. Uh oh, what is this gonna get us? What is this going to get my opponent? What are they going to get here? <gasps> Iron Leaves has made an appearance. We still are okay. I mean, it goes to the active spot, sure. Make a Prism Edge, sure. But I don't, what does that do, though? Because then we just take a knock out the Walking Wake. Yep. Sure. There goes my. Uh, that still doesn't knock us out, though, right? It is 180. Unless they get Iron Hands. Another Iron Lease is made appearance. Don't care about that card. Oh, it only works. Oh, yeah. What are you putting down? Okay. I don't think it takes a knockout. We have double turbo in hand. We're gonna take a dub here. We're gonna get the dub. This is like a, a super duper like um, future box deck with like psychic and grass and everything else. Um, of course, the grass take down the Charizard and stuff like that. Psychic gets to attack with the baby man right on. But we will take. So against ancient, we're a little bit in trouble. Against regular, we did it. Unless I'm, unless I'm getting too happy right now, but I'm pretty sure we should be okay here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I forgot all the iron crowns. Oh my goodness. All right. Well. We still win. <laughs> We still win, though. We gotta let Walking Away take a knockout, right? We have to. We have to pull the combo off, Josh. We can show everybody the combo off. Let's go. Sure.
Shoo! My goodness. Very nice. <laughs> I could have went for a cloth play too and go for unhinged scissors on a Mew EX. That could have been a play as well. So. I forgot about all the power ups with, with Iron Crown. I ain't gonna lie to you. I forgot about that. I was like, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. And then, just kidding, we weren't chilling. <laughs> but they were going, that one turn, he, when he par he could have, like, where was it at? It was before that turn. Where was it? Um, played Arvin and got this card. They could have used this to put it on the Iron Hands and like took a, th a three price knockout, right? And then they could have won. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm crazy. I could be crazy. But anyways, there we go. I still don't know if Arvin or Research is better. That's up to you to decide. Uh, but this is my version of Walking Wake. Is it the best deck? No. Is it fun? Sure. Let's have some fun. Uh, just don't hit, um, don't hit Ancient Box because that was really bad. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow when we pick the best decks for EIC. Uh, look at that stats, of course. Alrighty, guys.